Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. In the last couple of videos, we've done velocity factor, phasing harnesses and stuff, and then we went to phased arrays. We did the triangular array. In the last video, well, I've got a four element array, which we nicknamed the flamethrower. In fact, I didn't nickname it. It was, um, independently of me, someone else went out and built this. I think there were a contest station in, 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 in the Caribbean. And they built this one 20 meters and faced it into America and they thought it was amazing. And I'll show you how it works. So if you take the original two element parasitic array, I've got it on screen here. We are recording, double checking, got red lights everywhere. View this, so this is the parasitic array. Okay, so let me just zoom this in a wee bit. So we're feeding where the red dot is and we've got this one here on the right, very slightly longer, so we can just check that and these numbers. So 10.15 meters, 30 something feet, versus 10.35 meters. The difference is about eight inches, okay? If, if you're in, in, in that money. And there it is there. So we would expect that this, like a two element Yagi, will act as a reflector. So if we, I've already calculated this, but if we go and calculate that, we will see that a little bit of our energy goes over to the left. And then we can just check at five degrees off horizon, it's a nice benchmark, I've told you that a thousand times. We can run around here and we'll see we've got minus 1.1. I've had everything from minus 1.5 to, well, it's all within, within decimal places. It depends on heights and, and that sort of thing. But in real life, we'll get about minus one, if you like which is about 4 dB better than a straight vertical. All right, I could prove it to you, but we just it would just become omnidirectional. Now there's a tool in here um, called Make Stack. So rather than me drawing another two, because what I want to do is if we've got that one there and this one a bit longer, then we want to draw another one there and another one there we'll create a phasing harness between the two to our radio, okay? And these will carry on acting as reflectors. The key is the distance this way is not a quarter of a wavelength. I have done this. Some of the old timers on our channel remember this, but I'm very committed to building this as well. So horizontal, there's two elements horizontal. So now if we go and look, it's automatically driven, given as this. But you'll notice there's another setting, make stag, of what is the distance. Now the ideal distance, and I've been talking to John Gendron about this, we think it's probably about 0.65 of a wavelength. And there it is there. My only problem is that the 40 meter band, which is actually about 40 meters, uh, is that the 40 meter band is actually about 42 meters long. So 60% of 42 meters is 260, uh, six, four is 24, it's about 25 meters. And the field down at the, at the farm is just 25 meters. I can't quite fit this in. But anyway, let me show you the results on this first of all. Start, go to the far field plot, elevation five degrees. So we've come up to 1.8. So we're, we're, we've just achieved another 2 dB. If you look at the right hand side, it looks a nice pattern actually. You've got decent front to back. You've got these wings sticking out, which are a bit annoying, but anyway. Let's make that stack again, but this time make it, I can, I can personally fit in 0.5. And if you were on the 40 meter band, that's about a, a 22 meters distance. Okay, a 21 meters distance, this bit here. This would be 21 meters long, which is 70 something feet. Make that stack now, calculate, start. So I actually get a tidier pattern as well, but anyway, five degrees, so 1.3. So there we go. Now, reason for telling you this, the back's pretty good. See, there's quite a nice, you get a little low at the back, but you do the back, you hear people saying, don't you? Oh, I've got you on the back of the beam, you know, unless you've got, you know, some really fancy gear. So that's, that's cheap to build, okay, on a 20 meter band. 
you know, just uh, four, you know, seven metre rapide poles, take a couple of top sections off. You know, it, it's not expensive, a bit of copper wire. Because you remember how to build this is each of the one with the red dot at the bottom. Okay, you should have a vertical there, and I'll just draw draw one here, got another vertical there. This red dot, these are the ones where you'll have your radials on each of these. Your coax will come up, won't it? Coax will come up, the centre of the coax will go up the pipe, and the braid of the coax will go to the radials, okay? And then the back ones, it's slightly easier. So that would be, let's put that there and we'll put this one here. We connect the radials physically to like a dipole, but it's actually physically connected, all right? So if you zoomed in there, you see it's all connected. What I do is I build it like this to start with, stick a meter on it and make sure this is about 5% longer and then I short it out so that the if you put a multimeter between one of the radials and the elements it, it's a dead short you don't need as many radials as here as you do on this all right probably four or eight short radials would be enough so that's how you can add it up now on a 20 meter band if you had eight of these poles we could do something really clever and I could fit this in the field and I am seriously thinking of doing this, but I've got a question for you. Make stack four. That looks a bit crazy. So we've got, I could just fit this in 20 meters because it would be roughly 20 meters long. So it'd be a number of phasing harnesses. If you think about it, got those four red dots there. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll do it here. One, two, three, four red dots. So I have a phasing harness there, a phasing harness there. Then we'll have another phasing harness there and a T-piece with a coax. So we'll split each of these antennas. We'll get a quarter of the power. Be very careful I have to use high quality coax, cut them all the same, same length. But anyway, let's just see how this transmits. Look at this, you see, this is why I'm really interested in it. So I've, I've got probably only 20 degrees. I've got 4.3 dB, it says dBi, but I am 4.3 dB better than, of a, than oh, that's 9 dB. That's 9 dB better than a straight vertical. 9 dB is like nearly just under 10 times the power. So if I was doing 500 watts, then it would be it'd be five thousand watts. It wouldn't be about four and a half thousand watts, but that would give me that receive as well. You see, and if you remember, if you'd watched the last uh, video on the triangular array, we did the um, the great circle map. I mean, that would that would cover almost the whole of US. That twenty degrees, that'd be nice. I like talking to the um, the US guys, you know, because a lot of them speak my language. A lot of them are followers on the channel and that sort of thing. <laughs> that is just good fun, isn't it? Eight poles, and I could squeeze that in. So if we get enough likes and a few subscribers, I promise, absolutely promise to build it. Now the question I've got for you is as follows. So in the middle of the field right now, we've got the signature 12.4, okay, which is my big transmit. And if it's not that, I've got another one, which will have a number of elements on it, um, including 20 meters. Now I've got this coax switch, if you remember, the genius eight by two. So if I deselect that, which means the coax will be grounded to itself. As you know, the coax comes to the switch, it grounds and it, come, it comes back. Got a funny feeling it won't be the same. What am I trying to say? Is that gonna skew my pattern? That's all. Do I need to drop this on the floor? Now, I cannot work it out whether the, the, two, the 20 meter element, when it's grounded through the switch, through the coax, not at the base, remember? I've got a funny feeling it won't be on the 20 meter band anymore, in which case I can leave it up and we can switch in the array. If you know the answer to that one, can you let me know? Don't guess, all right?
If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. I'm not worried. If it's miles away, it doesn't matter. I just don't want it anywhere near the 20 meter band. All right? when, it's, when it's grounded out at the switch, there's about 12 meters of, of coax to the switch. Okay, so I've got a funny feeling it would all be a different length. So what's coming next? We've done we've done a four, and we've done an eight, really. <laughs> you could get a bit silly and do 16, but I think that's ridiculous. If you've got an idea about what else we want to have a look at, when well, we can just put a load of verticals together, we'll, we'll do this, because the next thing from here, okay, what we could do is add, let's just uh, swizzle this around, we could add reflectors as well. It sounds absolutely crazy, doesn't it? That would be three, six, that would be 12 verticals. So it'd be three element array times four. Okay, and we can model that and see what it does. But I think we'll get another two or three dB again, which would be rather funny. Next video's here. And I've uh, got a playlist underneath, a bit of a laugh. Some of you have seen some of that stuff. And I'll see you next time. All right, so there we are. All the best from a rainy, windy, miserable UK. All right, bye for now. Very good.